So in 2020, LG released their last three devices, the LG Velvet, the LG Wing, and the LG V60. And, uh, you know, one of the promises that they committed to before closing their doors on the mobile department is making sure that they get at least three years of software updates. Well, some interesting news just happened about Android 13 on the LG V60. So let's discuss it. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready. Woo, I love this thing. And follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So the LG Velvet is on Android 12. The LG Wing is on Android 12. The LG V60 is on Android 12. So LG released a roadmap of the devices that's getting Android 13. And all three of these devices is slated to get Android 13. So there's an image that float, that's floating out there and it's coming from a Reddit group uh, that surfaced talking about uh, that Android 13 beta development is commencing right now. A Reddit user of VAMM7 posted this image and I've been getting a lot of DMs and a lot of people asking me to give my thoughts about it. So Android 13 beta, beta testing is now in the works uh, for the LG V60. So look, I've been saying this over and over and over again, that LG has stuck to their promise and fully support their devices. Now I've been getting security patches for my devices pretty much you know, every other month. I mean, not every month, but maybe a few months here it may miss, but it's still getting support. So that is really good. The question people always ask me, why the LG V60? Why do I love my LG devices? Well, let me put this in perspective. Do display support, pin support with pin software to boot, the best audio in the game with a quad DAC. Listen, and when I put my headphones on and plug this thing up, I get very good audio, really do like it. Plus it's getting full support. And not only that, performance has been outstanding on the LG V60 plus the other LG devices. Listen, battery life is a beast on the LG V60, beating out the Galaxy S22 Ultra, beating out the Galaxy Z Fold 4, beating out the Pixel 7 Pro, the OnePlus 10 Pro, and more. This device will beat them all when it comes out of battery life. And you don't have to worry about overheating. You don't have to be scared to film in direct sunlight because the LG V60 just eat that sun for lunch and keep on going. That's one of the things that I never had a problem with the LG V60 is filming in direct sunlight. It never cut off on me. Plus the price to match. As of me recording this video, you could get an LG V60 for under $200. That's right, under $200. Listen, it's pretty interesting. You get a device that's fully supported, fast performance, better better life than current flagships, charges in the box, headphone jack, you got an optional dual case if you want to get some serious work done with pin support, you got desktop mode on this thing, all of that plus more great cameras with pro mode for under 200 bucks. And all I got to do is say, shee, what mode do you want? What mode do you want? Plus, it's getting Android 13. So, I look at the LG V60 plus the LG Velvet plus the, the LG Wing, and I'm saying to myself, man, for like, you know, under $200, $250, and under $300, you could get these devices. Android 13 coming out, man, in 2023, I think it's going to be very good. So, when I get these updates, I would definitely let you guys know when I get my updates. And look, the rumor has it that these updates will come the first half of this year, 2023. 
which is phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. But you know what? Don't rush the updates. Don't rush it. Let them take their time. I know a lot of people be anticipating on updates, when it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Let them take their time. Let them get it right. Be patient about it. This is good signs that uh, the LG V60 is now in beta for, uh, you know, Android 13. But let me mention something about updates. If you have AT&T, uh, you have to have active service in order to get updates. I know a lot of people always ask, tell me that they got AT&T, but they don't have active service and they're not getting no updates. And that's unfortunate because you won't get no updates if you don't have active sims and active service with AT&T. Now, updates is always based on carriers and regions. I don't know when you would get your updates and I don't even know when I'm going to get the updates. So just keep all that in mind. I'll keep all that in mind when it comes down to software updates. And you know what? Let me go ahead and answer some of my critics. Every time I make an LG video, I get about, you know, four to five people always criticize me and get pissed every time I make an LG video. Look, the LG community is strong. Thousands and thousands of people that love the LG devices, include me. So the, for the five to 10 people that hit me up asking me to stop making LG videos, Listen, I think you get overruled by the thousands of people that love it. So should I take the advice from five to 10 people or take the advice from thousands of people in the LG community that love all the coverage that I do with LG devices? Hmm, I think the five to 10 people get overruled in this point. Look, I would give you all coverage of Android 13 on all these devices when it come out. It's good to see uh, stuff servicing about the LG V60 and the LG devices as we move forward into 2023. Look, this device is powerful enough to get the job done. I will leave all product links that you can get this device for under $200 as of me recording this video down in the description below if you want to check it out. Also, if you want to see more LG content, I have a huge playlist with a bunch of videos. Click it right here. Click those videos right there and check out all the cool videos that I have about LG and LG devices. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.